Hi, everybody. It's Jessica Stone at Stansbury Research, along with Tom Carroll, one of our healthcare gurus at Stansbury. And, you know, I was just reading something you published in the Health and Wealth Bulletin about healthcare and the costs of healthcare, Tom. And I've mm -hmm. also been kind of reading about artificial intelligence. And I wondered, why don't we see more about artificial intelligence or more of it in healthcare? Healthcare is very complex. That being said, um, I think you are seeing AI across the spectrum in healthcare. You see it in pharma with drug development. You see it with oncologists and radiologists in screening and, and diagnosing for tumors and various cancers. So you do see uh, it pretty prevalently everywhere. But like I said, healthcare is complex. Um, so a just like anything, any kind of technology that's making its way into, you know, literally our lives and our well-being um, is going to have a tougher go of it, but it'll eventually get there. I think it's obviously a great time for AI to try some new things. We have a real need to find a vaccine and a treatment to COVID-19. Um, and I, I guess I wonder too, we know that AI can help us find efficiencies. Shouldn't it help cut down the cost of healthcare, which we hear are so high? People in the United States spend about $350 billion a year in going to the pharmacy and getting their meds. And then the U.S. health system spends another $300 billion to take care of those same people that don't take their meds correctly or don't take them right. And so who am I talking about? I'm talking about the, the guy who says, you know what, I'm feeling good today. I'm not going to take my blood pressure medication, you know, and then lo and behold, you know, that person has a stroke and ends up in the hospital for three months. So if you can use AI to make, in this example at least, to help people take their meds in a more efficient way, mm -hmm. there's a direct savings uh, to the health system and to the patients themselves that is absolutely enormous. And you've actually got some money of your own into something like that. What, what, tell us a little bit more about that company and how that product works. Yeah, so the company I'm talking about right now is a, is a firm called Emoco Mobile Health. They're also using their platform right now to go after and monitor COVID symptoms for mm. frontline uh, healthcare workers at hospitals and, and other clinics. So it's a, it's a very interesting little company that's kind of a, a combination of technology and, you know, just using uh, blocking and tackling that people and clinicians have to use in healthcare to, to get to the desired outcome. You talk about blocking and tackling, and I guess one place where that would be the case is trial and error, speeding up that process, it would seem to me, is, is probably really something that could happen with AI and healthcare. Are we seeing it, and could we see more of it? AI is essentially using computing power to speed, at least in healthcare, to speed diagnosis and move from you know uh, diagnosis to cure mm. so again if I can use another example um, another company that we're aware of and I'll, I'll put my cannabis hat back on for a second um, is uh, there's a, there's a company that now that is that is growing trying to grow a better hemp plant right and hemp is essentially a cannabis plant that's used primarily it's going to be used primarily in the US for for CBD but also has plenty of other use, industrial uses but mm -hmm. hemp is a very finicky plant to grow uh, to get the best yield so this firm a Carroll plant science is essentially taking you know all the inputs on how you grow a good plant and feeding it into its AI and deep learning systems. And what is coming out is a, you know, our recipes, so to speak, right? Hey, you know, combine these variables together. And if you do, you have a, you know, 90 something percent chance of getting the plant that you like. That is exactly where the efficiency and the cost effectiveness comes from with artificial intelligence, especially as we see it more in healthcare. So you've talked about some of your own picks, places where you have money on the line, but what would you tell investors who want to trade on this trend? I think probably the, the best way to do it, and maybe a little more sophisticated than, than your, your average retail investor is going to do, is, is to look for private equity firms that are taking investment and that those private equity firms are going out and finding the best small private companies to invest in, right? So if you're investing, you know, $50,000 into a private equity company, that's mission is to go after and find healthcare AI companies, you know, you're taking your money and spreading it across a portfolio of small startups, you know, several of which could do really well. Um, so I think right now, that's probably one of the, 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 the most effective ways to do it. But again, a little more complex and just turning on your, your internet trading platform and, you know, and, and typing in a clicker.
Tom, thanks so much for your insight. It's a fascinating area to watch and we appreciate your time. And if you would like to see more content just like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also, of course, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.